rolled through the stop sign and went right in that building and then backed up and drove off and he almost ran these two dudes yeah, over. We were, we were standing right on the corner and he came, missed us by like maybe three feet. Maybe. Was he just rolling at a slow speed? No, yeah, he, I mean, was, he was looking at his phone and kept on going straight through. Into he the jumped, he went over the curb right there. There's a decent okay. curb and into that building to do that amount of damage. So yeah. Okay. And, uh, sorry, name? Uh, yeah, first and last name and your date of birth and a good phone number for you. Yeah, All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, appreciate you. you Have bet. Evening. Okay, thanks. Anything else we can help you with, officer? Uh, no, not really. I'm just gonna try to see who owns this over here and get a hold of them and find out what else happened. I'd like to get that picture if you got yeah, a second. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. okay. Yes, sir. I think I do. You saw it too. The description uh, of the guy. It was kind of a yeah. What what we what do you look like? He Whoops. Was, uh, real light complexion and glasses. Okay. So gringo. Okay. Okay. If and I what color him, was the truck? Like a. Geez, it was either real dark brown or uh, root beer kind of color. Okay. I might be wrong on that. I was, I was looking at I mean, I was right here. If I wouldn't have been going really slow, that would have been me instead okay. of that building. Okay. Is there pretty significant damage to the vehicle? I mean, I would assume you know, there the is, guy, but... The guy backed right out and took off, off, and I was in such shock that he wasn't stopping and okay. staying that I was like, my brain wasn't working. I was freaking... I'm sitting right here where this kid's sleeping. Okay. And I'm thinking to myself, this guy's backing up and he's gonna run off. I, I mean, I was just, <sighs> you know, all right. right. Thank like you. Man. Well, <laughs> I was like, oh, thank God, you. You gotta be kidding me. The guy runs into the building, then he just takes off. <laughs> <laughs> There's some people out there, I'll tell you, man. <laughs> uh, one of the guys over here said it was kind of like a purplish color or something like that. It might have turned into purple after we did. Okay. It wasn't it was, it was black, it wasn't green or red. It was either real dark brown or purple. It probably a, probably a purple. Okay. All right, well, thank you, you, you guys. Get, you got a good place. You got to find it. Where? He's on foot? Yeah, he parked the truck on uh, near the Plum Tree, Plum Tree Inn. Plum Tree Inn? Yeah, took off on foot down the street. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. Hey, Aiden, if you can go down there and just secure the vehicle or whatever, we'll find him later. Just run that plate on the vehicle. Sir, do you know who owns this place? I have no idea. I was okay, up there. Okay, you're just helping it. out. <laughs> yeah, I was up Thank there and you. I watched it. And um, Isaac and the thing, I knew he'd have brooms. And I was like, man, let's pop some money. He's like, the car's tiring. So. <laughs> okay. Good luck, guys. Thank you very much. I didn't see you at all. Slide six five. Uh, Eight's on scene, and he was told by some witnesses here that the truck is parked by. Um, when the bed and breakfast is from street in or something like that and took off on foot. I'm gonna have eight go over there and secure the vehicle. Holy crap. Wow. I'm sorry, it's gonna be SA9.
Go ahead. So, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. Okay. Can you also try to find a phone number for the River Lofts of Salida Riverfront Rentals? Um, the address is going to be 130 West Sackett. I'm sorry, ma'am. I tried to take his picture. <laughs> oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, so I... I'll be right with you, sir. I did. If you can zoom in, you can see some. Did you see where but, he went? Well, yeah, he was he was poorly walking back this direction after he ditched the truck. Oh, so he started walking back this way? Yeah. Oh, he did told, you see where he went? Well, not exactly. Okay. I mean, he was just walking. So this is like the plum tree right here. Okay. And then he was walking, you know, back this way on the sidewalk, and then we lost him. He cut in between some houses, so he's probably heading up, you know, south. Okay. Do you want this? Yes, ma'am. You could do send you have that a to me. I do. 719. Okay. 221 7908. Okay. So his, maybe somebody can enhance it a little bit, but I could sort of see. His flannel, and you can kind of see he's got a, a real short hairdo, like a fade, you know? Okay. I, you know, you can see his neck, and then what he has What color fade. was the flannel shirt? It looks, it was like bluish gray, gray, black, blue, kind of darker. Okay, kind of an older gentleman. No, he didn't look older. He yeah, looked he maybe look mid-30s, maybe. Mid-30s? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, well, thank okay, you yeah, so much. Welcome. We appreciate it. All right, so let me see the picture you yeah, got. <laughs> this is what he sent over. It's not a picture of the plate, but you guys already got that. Black is purple. That yeah, was after you ran into it, or? Yeah, we were just coming around the corner, right at the, well, right by the brick. Okay. He didn't hit, and on his phone, Looked right at us, backed up, and drove away. Can you send that to me? Absolutely. I'll give you my phone number. Uh, messages? Oh crap, we're going to do this hard way. <laughs> I know I'm not so, good uh, at this either. <laughs> uh, let's do phone, let's do phone number first. <laughs> Good. Okay. Yes, he did. Boom. 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 Contact info to you as well. Okay. Thank you so much, Mark. Yeah, Nathan. Appreciate yeah, you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's up, Chief? Bro, I watched it from the roof. Yes, he crashed into the building um, no, right here at GM Sackett, caved in the whole entire front of the place, backed up. It's the River Lofts of Salida. So if you're parked going, if you're going northbound at the stop sign by Sweeties, and if you just keep driving straight forward, he just, yeah, he just crushed it. He's out on foot right now, parked his truck down the street. Okay. I'd imagine. Hey, how was the float? Okay. Did you float? Yeah, um, so Aiden's got the truck. I uh, think I'm just going to have it towed. I was biking there and uh, I was like, Psh, yeah, right, dude. It was colder 11. Okay. We're going to.
we're gonna see if we can locate him because he came uh yeah, one lady yeah. said that There's she saw him up there and I kept like, like park the truck in front of the plum in. tree on until, east sack uh, and then he started like, walking group. back he westbound and she doesn't know where he went from there yeah all right okay thanks bye SA9, SA5. Does that truck have damage? Okay, go ahead and take some pictures of that and then uh, have dispatch send Alpine to the scene to tow that vehicle and we'll start looking for them. Yeah, you, you're. Yeah, you're all right. Just be careful. It's a light of C5. Be able to get any information on who owns the building. Okay, no problem, just let me know when you get some information. Somebody almost got hurt. There's like four people on the front of the road when you pop the curb. Down the street. What's that? Yes. Yes, right here. Wow, I'm so glad we didn't get the side of the building. I think it's hilarious that I think this left this way, but I'm really glad I hit the tree. I kind of like these trees. I mean, in all the... God, thank God he didn't get the side of that. Yeah, like the Christ, asshole. Hey, Scott, are you tied up on anything? Did you uh, ask dispatch for uh, Alpine? Not yet. Yeah, I'm, I was gonna have him go over there with me to see if we could contact him at the Fritz. At the Fritz? Okay. Yeah, he owns that place. Oh, okay. So I'm wondering if he wasn't fucking drunk. Oh, yeah. Somebody said they saw him on his phone. He walked over. He was wearing like a blue flannel type shirt. So. Okay. Is the the RP that grabbed the sign leave? He said he was in gray and jeans, slightly Hispanic, about five, six, five, seven. Because what one lady over there told me that he had like a bluish type flannel on, uh, mid thirties. Blue gray, might be something like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I got two more pictures, and I'll go with you. You already had uh, you already had dispatch get A1 though. Yeah, I'll need one of your guys' tow forms after it's all said and done. Of course, if Alpine beats you guys back over here. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Next available or just Alpine? Just Alpine, not A1.
Go ahead. Copy, thank you. They might be, I don't know, they had a sign in the window. Oh, for like for, stuff for sale? For, yeah, a rent gotcha. or sale or something like that. Uh, I've awesome. got one right got here. Got one right there. Money. Okay. Let's go to the Fritz and see if we can't catch them over there, maybe. You want to take the alley up the Yeah. You can take take the front, you said? Yeah. Okay. Let us see five. Nine and I will be out at the fritz trying to locate this guy. The Fritz restaurant. I say nine, I say five.
SA9, did you say you were in contact with him? Okay, I'm going to come around to the front. MG to, to Sackett Street. Told me his truck was parked over there two blocks away, so he parked it there a half hour ago. Hmm. But I'm gonna go talk to the other guy that he came in with. Is he gonna talk to you? Yeah. Because he claims he had a he came here and had a couple shots with the guy that is opening. So I'm gonna go talk to the guy that walked in here with him and see if they drank when they got here. Okay. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I don't know. Okay. Alright. Anything? Call me. Thanks, Kylie. So you had a little accident down there, huh? No? No. I did. no. Okay, there are tons of witnesses down there described you to a team. So you can either be honest about it or you can stick to your story. Not sure what you're asking about. The accident that happened right over here? Not sure what you're Second asking about. Second G. You weren't driving and had an accident in your own vehicle? Not that I recall. Not that you recall. Okay. Yeah. We'll go with that then. Driver? Yeah, this is Eric. He doesn't recall. All right, we're going to need this pound then. He's going to need to take a Yeah, we, we got a tow truck coming. He's going to need a license retest too then also. Okay. Do you have your driver's license on you? Yep. Okay. Make sure we do leave in the scene, failure to report. Um, Careless driving? I'd be reckless. Okay. Okay. That's more of a concern than Might be uh, DUI too because he had been drinking. 
Um, I had nothing to drink before I showed up at work. Okay, you can stick with that. Slide to see if I have, have one to roll when you're ready. I, I did have two shots when I got here. Colorado Mill, last of Coomer, Charlie Ocean Ocean, Mary Edward Robert, first of Eric, Edward Robert Ida Charlie, middle name is David, date of birth is 7-16-70. So now he's claiming that he had uh, something when he got here. Yeah, that's okay. and the employee backs it up. That's right. Huh? We'll charge it anyway. Okay. Get a statement's in here from, you're drinking in here? Yeah. Okay. The, the, um, Employee back there confirms that. Seven okay, sixteen perfect. of seventy. Here you After. Go. Yeah. Oh, sure. Alright. Here you go. Toll coming then. Yeah. So why'd you leave the scene when you hit the building over there? Dude, people are telling us it was you. Come on, man. People watched you. Really? That's the route you're going to go? Go ahead. Nobody wants to just take ownership responsibility of their actions. Okay. Okay. All right, so, well, I guess we just hit them with the driving actions, and you got, uh, you got insurance in your vehicle? I do. Okay. Well, why don't you uh, walk him up there, we'll get all of his information out of there, his insurance information, all his vehicle information. Um, tow truck probably hasn't gotten there yet, so we'll get all that information so we can give it to them, and then uh, we'll just, if he wants to lie and go that route, then we'll just hit him with everything that we can on it. Fair enough. Okay. You want to walk with me back to the truck? Sure. Amazing, a business owner in this town acting like that. Uh, yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So I guess the guy in there is backing him up, saying that he, when he walked in there, they had two shots, and he doesn't know anything about the accident whatsoever. He spilled glass all over the intersection where he turned. It looked like a, it looks like a three-car accident at that intersection down here. No, he. He doesn't know anything. Parked it there a half hour ago, he says. People watched him, right? Oh, yeah, I mean, I've got... Somebody reported him while following him down here, right? Well, so what happened was, is I was talking to a guy who sent me his information as a witness, two witnesses. Yeah. He took a picture of the truck. It matches the picture. This lady took a picture of him walking back. She said she saw him park the truck. So she can ID him. Yeah, and she said that, that he walked by. He, well, she took a picture and sent it to me. But she ID'd him driving, right? She watched yeah, him yeah, driving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she said that he had, she described the shirt and everything. She saw him drive the truck after he hit the building. And she saw him drive... Him. Right, and then he parked it, and then she said he started walking back westbound toward the so accident she, scene. So she had, she could ID him as the driver. She saw him hit it. Yeah.
This is Will. Hey, Will. This is Sergeant Cliff. How are you? Good. How's it going? Good. Hey, did you uh, could you identify the driver of the vehicle? No, sir. I, honestly, I couldn't. I just, I kind of all happened so quick. I saw him drive into the building, but uh, at that point, he was already past me because I was standing on like the caddy corner, okay, um, away from the river. The two pedestrians that he almost ran over said that he looked right at them. Um, the only way I could identify him is by his vehicle. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. Yep. No okay. worries. I hope you figured all that out. All right. Thanks. Bye bye. Glad everything was all right. Everyone was all right. Yep. Me too. Yep. Bye. Did you copy my radio traffic? Yeah, I did. Um, I didn't get that lady's number she sent, but I do have this other witness I'm trying to call. Um, that sent me the picture of the truck. Um, yeah, the guy who, the guy who took the photo of the truck sent it to another guy. So I'm trying to contact this other witness, uh, Mark Lavardi. I'm going to call him right now. Did you get full pictures of this guy? Like, I didn't get any pictures of him at all. I just walked up and right before you appeared, I pulled up on scene and. Aiden went in to talk to this other guy, so I didn't get any pictures of him. So he admitted him. to driving half an hour ago when the accident occurred. Yeah, roughly around then, but he doesn't he doesn't know what I'm talking about when I say this. I got a picture of his vehicle leaving the scene of the accident. Okay. Well, I'd like to charge him with with false reporting or something if we can get the witness to ID him, you know? Right. Wonder, did he have the keys?